In this video I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, floor shadow brush pack using the same technique that I use on all my floor shadows uh, which is using the soft brush tool. If you haven't seen that video I'll leave a link in the description uh, but we're going to change the flow down to 8% and then change the roundness to around 12% and then we're going to zoom in on um, the object and I got my renders from footy renders if you don't like cutting out for personal work it's a great resource um, to go grab uh, player renders so with this technique you want to make sure that you know, see the darkest point is going to be uh, closer to the object so you want to click a couple of times just to get the, the darkest area started and then as you increase uh, the size of your brush you want to just kind of bring the shadow out a little bit obviously with the flow um, being at 8% and being so low it will obviously um, expand as you click on it again if this was an actual design we would make sure that the grass has been replaced and make the bottom of the ball a bit more darker so as you can see we've got a shadow there and this is the sort of thing perhaps that you would use then on you know most of the balls in your uh, designs so we want to save this as a preset so you want to go to edit Make sure you've got the layer selected. Divine brush preset. You can just call this football ball shadow. This will then come up in your brushes panel. Now because we saved it with quite a low flow, obviously it's going to take that into account. So we want the flow to come back up to 100%. And then you can just place your shadow in uh, where you need it. And obviously because this is now set as its own brush we can flip the angle on it so if the shadow if the light then is coming the other way we can set it to go the other way I have a free uh, brush floor shadow preset available for download I'll put the link in the description it contains a couple of floor shadows that I use in most of my designs sometimes obviously presets won't work with certain angles so you will have to create them from scratch sometimes but yeah i'll leave the link for those shadows in the description um, but that's it for this video subscribe for more photoshop tutorials and i'll see you in the next video